Welcome to Life in General Vlogs. My name is Mariah. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is all about my uh, instant pot recipe, as you could see from the title, Red Lentil Stew. If you want to make something like this, please keep watching. Very easy to make. Took me only, with the prep time, about 25 minutes or so. 10 minutes for prep and about with the natural release about 20 to 25 minutes it was absolutely a hit with my family it's not spicy because i do have a toddler at home let's go to the ingredients you guys with the ingredients i have salt and pepper to your taste curry powder one tablespoon Turmeric, one tablespoon. Sweet paprika, one tablespoon. You could adjust your ingredients and spices to however amount you want. This is what I put in. And then I have vegetable oil this time. You could use whatever oil you have on hand. Carrots, I only had one carrot, but I recommend to put more. Tomatoes and onions, I only had one of each. You could put more, the better, the more the better, I think. And then I have one a large sweet potato and one large regular potato. I try to keep away from too much starches. Next I have on the list is coconut milk. I'm using the non-GMO, whatever I could find at the store, one can. Then I have two cups of washed red lentils. And then I have long grain rice. I have one and a half cups in here. And this is jasmine. One more ingredient that I have, it's completely optional. I do add it at the end. Because they already cooked, I just rinse them and I add them after my lentil stew is cooked and it's simmering down and I just warm it up, I guess, is garbanzo beans, one can. All right, let's begin, you guys. All right, you guys, this is where it gets awesome. You get to use all of your utensils that you have at home. I personally had these bowls a long time ago that I purchased and I'm able to fit them into my instant pot i will make sure to link them down below for you guys also i just recently bought an accessory set for my instant pot which i am in love with this is how it looks you guys um it will be linked down below let's begin with this awesome recipe so you could actually see how it unfolds all righty first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and turn my instant pot on saute making sure it's nice I made sure it's hot and nice. I'm going to add my one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Usually I have grapeseed oil or olive oil. You could use whatever you like. I'm making a vegan version, so you could add butter if you wanted to. You could add meat to this uh, recipe like chicken or beef. I, I'm i not when I make it because lentils have so much protein in it. Um, I wouldn't do that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and saute my onions and my tomatoes nice and make sure they sweat and do their job. And then I'm going to go ahead and it's like a, a minute or so, not too long. Don't burn the ingredients. Uh, just be there and just watch them. I will make sure to link down below all of my accessories and all of my utensils that I'm using, you guys, and also the Instant Pot that I'm using right here. On top of that, I'm gonna make sure to have a list of ingredients and the recipe itself written out for you guys. I hadn't thought about it before in my previous videos. I will eventually do that. I have to go back and do that. As you could see my belly, my baby bump, I'm almost there of having our little boy. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of our vlogs or anything like that. Make sure to watch them if you're interested in it. 
And also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love new subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. And I genuinely love my Instant Pot, as you could see. So yeah, I saute the ingredients. And then I'm just going to make sure that my camera doesn't get foggy. I added my carrots in there. I only have one carrot. I don't know how did that happen. But usually I like to add up at least three carrots in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, spices. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and mix them in. And as you could see, the bottom of the pot is not burned or anything like that. It's just nice and easy going. And I'm going to go ahead and put my lentils in. These are, I believe, two cups of lentils. And yeah, two cups of lentils. And they already washed and soaked. I only soaked them for 10 minutes. With the Instant Pot, you don't need to soak them that much. I'm going to go ahead and mix it in. Marry all the ingredients together just like that. And the aroma is incredible, you guys. I wish YouTube could come up with a way of that you could smell things besides hear things. It would be awesome. And then lastly, um, adding my sweet potato and a regular potato. You are more than welcome to add more than that. I'm adding one of each. Mix it in like that. And I'm making a vegan version of this. You could make it with chicken, with beef. You could add butter to it, whatever you want. Adjust it, try it. Um, a lot of people like ask, oh my God, aren't you afraid to use the Instant Pot? The Instant Pot is probably the best thing had I ever got my hands on in a kitchen, you know, kitchen utensils. And then I'm adding my coconut milk, one can. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use water and I'm gonna use the same amount for that can. That's how I measure you guys. My measuring skills is I dump and that's how it is. As you could see at the pot right from the top, how much liquid I have in there, it's barely covering my ingredients. And the reason why I have it right there because once the lid is on and it goes into a pressure, it will create more moisture and you don't wanna have a soup, you wanna have a stew. So that's how much liquid I have right there barely covering the ingredients and then this is where the magic happens i'm going to take my tray bit and i'm going to put it at the bottom of it make sure it's washed make sure your instant pot is always clean okay i always hear horror stories in a <laughs> instant pot community and then i noticed i had a little bit more of lentils left so i'm adding those in also like i had maybe like table or two tablespoons of lentils left why make it go to waste so I'm going to put my tribute in, as I said, and then I'm going to set my rice in there. And I'm going to have a whole meal ready to go in 15 minutes. This is the bowl that I'm using. And as I said, I will link them down below for you guys so you could get them. Just like that. I'm testing it out. How, you know, how much space I've got. I'm going to put my tribute in like that. Oh, and my hands are washed. I always wash my hands. I constantly wash my hands. I know you guys don't see that. My rice is already washed. I don't soak my rice. I wash it in a warm look water until the, the water runs clear. And then I'll mix it in. The key to having a great rice is adding a little bit of oil, of some type of oil or butter. So I'm using warm water from my teapot. Not hot, not cold, warm. And... The amount of water that I have, the ratio for the Instant Pot that makes my rice perfect and not clumpy and not, you know, I don't know, like sticky or anything like that or overcooked, is literally one inch of on top of the rice. So it covers the rice one inch. And then I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil and mix it in. I'm using a cap to measure it. Literally, it's like a tablespoon or a teaspoon. You know, I eyeball it. You know, don't be afraid. It's just an ingredient. Nothing's bad gonna happen. I'm just fixing it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on. You could add salt to it too. I don't. I tried to put less salt and stuff because of the sodium. 
I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on. Make sure your lid is closed tightly and it is on seal, not on venting. I've done that before and that was a huge mistake. Anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off from saute. And then this time around, I tried something new and I did under steam setting because the rice, I don't know, I always experiment. It still cooked it. I prefer to use the meat or stew or manual. That's my favorite. I usually go to manual. So I did steam for 15 minutes. Um, I'll be honest with you, I had to do it again for five more minutes additional. So I recommend to do it manual for 15 minutes and it will do the same job, you guys. This is the end result. Don't mind my dirty pot because I had to take out the rice. Um, yeah. I had to put the rice in a separate container in a big skillet just to keep it warm because we don't have a microwave, we don't use it. And then I added garbanzo beans at the end because just to keep them warm, they're already cooked. All right, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video and joining me. This is how it looked when I served it. My husband absolutely loves it. My daughter loves it. And you could probably hear her in the background because she's playing. And that's mommy life, I guess. Yep. She's, I guess, saying hi to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button. That way you will be notified when I release new videos. Also, I'm so close to 300 subscribers, you guys. I think five or six subscribers away from that. I would love to reach that goal by the end of January 2019. That would be the biggest gift for me ever. Please, please, please subscribe, share the video, and also I will make sure to have the recipe and all the ingredients and also all the utensils and my accessories that I use for my Instant Pot down below, including my Instant Pot that I'm using. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for watching. I love you very much. Have a good one, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. No, you meant the world to me. You kiss your head when you cry for me.